Good morning, my name is Grant. This is Endorphin Empire again, and welcome to Whitley Bay Park Run. morning again so yes it seems to have a, a strange affinity with running coastal park runs when it's windy as it can possibly be storm Kathleen is pounding the northeast coastline as we speak so it's a bit breezy today so luckily that will cool us down because it's quite warm as well actually but we are in Whitley Bay so Whitley Bay not too far from Newcastle actually it's a very popular park run average attendance over 400 people I think there might be even more today because there's a few local cancellations so We'll see how congested it gets, but these parts look enormous. I believe this is part of the, the course that I'm on right now. In terms of following uh, these park run reviews, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that like, comment, um, subscribe buttons. That uh, means a lot to me. And then you can look at my Strava. I'll post a link in the description below to this activity. And I'm getting back into my running a bit more now after my little calf niggle. So you can see a bit of the trading or any sort of data that I can't include in this park run review video today such as the actual elevation and the course and all its little dynamics but in terms of pre-run admin it's quite a bit to get into so first of all getting here uh, you can get here by using the public transport so the metro system in particular you can get that from Newcastle there's loads of bus services just have a look on the website you can see how to get here um, I drove and it's a big free car park just at the end of the course and it's a little bit about a 10 minute walk to the start line and the start line's actually on a helipad which is quite interesting. In terms of underfoot, the it's surface past the entire way, as you can see, it's all your own shoes which is nice. And then the toilets, there are some toilets in, I think it's called Rendezvous Cafe, um, just behind me, so there you go. And if you look over here, just behind there, you can get those in a rope before the run. I'll go there now. But let's head over to a course overview first of all, and following that, we'll get over to the start line. 30 second course overview time. So it is essentially an out and back, but you come back along a skinnier path, you go out on a much wider path. There is a little bit of undulation, particularly on the way back, essentially. But once you get onto the seafront, the path is quite wide, so you can overtake there. But it does get really tight and congested on the way back, so just bear that in mind. I think at the start it's a bit congested too, but after it's about four, five, six hundred meters, that's when it starts to open up. So if you are here for a PB, just be wary of where you start. But really, really nice course. Definitely, definitely road shoes. Okay, so hello everyone from halfway around Berkeley Bay Park Run. Gorgeous views as you've seen, it's really really nice and loads of support as you go around the course, which is fantastic. Um, if you're only here for a PB, the course is good, you can definitely run a PB. I think if you start towards the front of the pack, because it is quite big at the start and it's about 600 metres till the, the path widens out and you can overtake comfortably. But um, if you're a mid-pack runner and trying to run mid-pack this week to get an idea. If you are a mid-pack runner, around 27 minutes, it's really, really tough to set a good time because it just gets so busy, especially on the way back. Um, it's really congested on a skinny path. But don't let that deter you if you just set off quicker then 
going to force you to follow those quicker runners in front. Um, yeah, lovely course and excellent road shoes, a little bit undulating, but it's all well and good. I'll um, leave you with a time lapse now of the rest of the course and I'll see you at the finish line. Like the t-shirt. It's a good idea. It's hard, isn't it? Never lose your barcode, will you? Exactly, yes, it's true. That's that's good. It's a great night. Bit of an interlude here, something I don't ever mention really, but I've got quite a cool t-shirt. I quite like it. It's my park run barcode on there. And if you've been watching a lot of these videos, you'll notice that there's the scan every time, it doesn't fail. Um and a lot of people ask me where it's from or ask have questions about it. So I don't I'm, I'm not being, I'm not sponsoring anything, I don't get paid to do this, but the website I got it from was somewhere called Sprinters Printers, and you just communicate with them, send them your park run barcode, and they're a runner, the person who runs the website, I think it cost me about 15 to 17 pounds, but I've also got stuff printed on the back, as you might see, um, but probably for this, about 15 quid or so, and never going to forget your barcode, you can choose what colour you want, you don't have to be as loud and out there as this, but just thought I'd share that information because I know a lot of people are interested in it. It's, a, it's not an original idea for me. I saw someone doing this and I thought well, that's a great idea. So share the pain, share the fun. Um, there you go and get one. Maybe I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and have a look at that and yeah, just get yourself one of these bad boys. Whitby Bay Park Run Down and Dusted. Thanks a lot to all the volunteers. Loads of volunteers are on the course. Really, really fun, especially considering how many people are taking part. It's great to see that there's also enormous amounts of volunteers over here. The weather's been decent, not too windy actually. But let's get to the most important part of the race, the weekend even. Let's go over to the Cafe Aru now and see what it's all about over there. Let's pray for carrot cake. Let's hope we see some sort of uh, good bacon butties and some good coffee. Let's see what this is all about now. Okay, so a breezy cafe review. Went to De Mayo, just near the finish line. It's only a couple minutes to walk over the road to get there. In terms of the food, though, it was brilliant. Um, they had cannolis, which are fantastic. I had the lemon and pistachio ones, really top notch, very, very good quality. And then the bacon sausage ciabatta was unreal. Really, really good bites. That coffee was decent. In terms of seating, you can see like there were plenty of seats. It wasn't as busy as I expected, considering there must have been upwards of four or five hundred people at the park run today. I think the seating was good. People must try to go to other cafes as well, just in case they get busy. But yeah, this place is really, really nice. Massive selection of ice cream. I think that's what they're known for is their ice cream um, choices there. So yeah, definitely get over to the mayors. Like I said, always support those independent places. Lovely Italian cafe. Whitley Bay Park Run done and dusted. Lovely event. I hope you enjoyed the cafe review. I hope you enjoyed the run. I hope you enjoyed the free run admin, all that sort of stuff. Remember, if you did enjoy any of it, let me know. If you just like, comment, share, subscribe, that means a bunch to me, and that's kind of how I know. And as I said, in the description below, you can see my Strava following on from there. You can look at any further details you may have missed. As always, remember one park run will not make you fit, one pizza will not make you fat. Just get out there, enjoy your running, and I'll see you next week from a new location. Ciao.